What's up YouTube, Mr. Lamessi here, and today we're going to be talking about the Leap Barbarian. This is a 2.4 uh, build review. They have now added AoE to Leap Attack, um, and so we're going to go ahead and check and see the viability of this character. So here, if you take a look, mm, let, me, let me go to move the game capture to the top. There we go. Here, if you take a look, you can see it has a radius of 4.6 yards, but at max, and this is level 30, it only has 298 to 308 damage right there, which isn't a ton. We also have damage plus 1370% um, for the leap attack itself. I just have a maximum... Uh, IK build right now, so just very simple. Um, and we can go ahead and just give a look at how it plays, how it feels, all of that. So let's go out to here. Well, battle orders, I've just max there, max there, max mace, and uh, battle orders, right? Pretty standard. And we can go give a look. So obviously you can see my main damage is, you know, fine. 5600 to 8407. It is IK, full IK set. So that part is doing fine. But, but the AOE damage I want to focus on, you can see it really just does not do a lot of damage overall. I mean, this is level 30 right here. And if I leap, the mob that doesn't get hit by my actual attack takes very little damage. And it just feels like the A the AoE is not not really doing anything there, right? I feel like the size of the AoE, I don't hate. 4.6 yards is actually pretty big. But just the damage of it is is very sad. So I don't know if that flat damage is supposed to be allowed to be boosted by any of your gear. That would maybe help it or by boosting from masteries or what, right? It feels like uh, there should be something there. But otherwise, you're just going to be leaping around and you can see it's just like it adds so little to your actual build. It, it's not really helping at all. This is a level 85 Barbarian with full IK set. Which, once again, isn't like an amazing set for amazing everything, but it should at least be okay. And here I'm jumping into a, a pile of Devourer Young and I can't even clear the Young with the AoE damage until it takes like 30 leaps to clear something. So, overall, iffy you know and the thing is even if you put on that full perfect setup and you get the grief and you get all that stuff going you still simply have that same flat damage and so while your main hand is going to still be crushing you have that 1370 percent uh damage whatever from the leap attack you're still not getting very much at all in the terms of the aoe because it's just going to be um so low now, I'm not saying I was expecting it to be a full swipe and kill everything around it or anything like that. Um, but I, I would say I was expecting the damage to be a little bit more. Maybe after like two or three leap attacks, it's gonna, you know, kind of kill some of the stuff around and still just be something that gives a little bit more damage. Maybe it's a percentage of your total damage. 10%, 20% is dealt as AoE or something like that. I don't know exactly, but this flat damage does seem a little bit weak. Now, something I do want to talk about as well is leaps are now actually always leaping. So remember before, if you stood next to something and you leapt, it would just do a normal attack. And you're like, I don't know, I never played this before. Well, normally if you stand next to something and leap attack, it's just going to do a normal attack because it won't actually leap. They've changed that now, so there's a minimum height 
and distance and everything, and it seems like really just height, um, for the leap attack and for leap. So you actually will always leap attack on a mob if you hold right click on it, which I do think is really nice so you're not having to worry about bouncing back and forth between leap attack um, and then just like the regular hit if you get slightly too close. So I do like that. But something to also note is leap as well has the same thing. So remember before you could actually just go leap, 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 leap. Well now you actually have a little bit more. Oh hey, Diablo spawn. Now you actually do have a little bit more. Um, and so I'll come down here and we can just kind of leap some stuff away. And you can see, I can't do that infinite leap anymore where nothing will get close to me, really. You can see mobs are actually starting to walk back towards me, so it is technically kind of working. But not quite as good as it used to. There's, there's not a full stun, which is honestly probably for the best. Because before, in live, you could fully stun every mob so it would purely... Um, be pushed away and I say stun but just like put them in that recovery so it's a reasonable nerf to leap um, I'm, I'm I'm cool with it but it will definitely make that a little bit more difficult for the barbarian so yeah ultimately I think leap attack still does have its potential I mean we'll run over here and uh, you know go in on Diablo and you know you could still do like declone with this if you want. You could also just concentrate hit him to try and hit him more. You know, whatever you want for all this stuff. But uh, ultimately, I think it still is weaker than I was than I was hoping, anticipating. I don't think this build really gains much viability overall because I think. It doesn't really gain any boost. You just have the physical damage from the leap attack, which is nice. But the flat damage from the AoE is pretty pointless. It really doesn't do much. So like I say, I think it either needs to have more damage added to it. Some way if it's your damage from, uh, you know, your, your main or whatever it is. Or it needs to have something with like... It needs to do something. So, like, when you jump in, it does, like, a battle cry or something like that. Which I think that would honestly be a really cool implementation of it. So, you leap attack into a group. It does a battle cry in a radius around you. And then you switch into, like, concentrate hitting or berserk hitting all of the mobs. And now you kind of have just this, uh, you know, something, something happens or it howls or it taunts or whatever. Um, you know, something happens from all of that. Is that how PD2 is? I actually don't know. I haven't done Leap Attack Barb in PD2. Um, if it is, great minds think alike. Uh, so, you know, it feels like something needs to happen on that jump in or just have a little bit of, uh, more damage in the AoE. One of the two, but yeah, I'm just talking in circles now on it. We will, uh, move forward from there. But, um, yeah, I think Leap Attack, probably down in D tier for me, just doesn't really seem like it has enough value, and uh, I'd rather just kind of berserk or do some other things. So, love to hear your comments down below, uh, if you tested it at all, or what you think. Otherwise, don't forget to like and subscribe. Peace, YouTube.